so in this video i am going to discuss experiment number 2 which is to determine the wavelength of laser using grating so we required some apparatus in which first one is the optical bench this is known as the optical bench ye jo stand dikh raha hai aapko usko kehte hain optical bench second one is the laser source this is the laser source and through this laser diode setup through this module we can generate the laser so laser will be generated from here this is a laser source then we require a grating element grating element will be placed in this side grating element is of two type one is of 500 lpi another one is of 1000 lpi grating element can be any of this two in your examination and there is one screen in which we will see the diffraction grating so let's understand this practical so to understand this practical we need to just set the length of this laser module you have to adjust this length of laser module the light should be passed through the diffraction grating element and the diffraction pattern should be observed on this optical screen so either we can use 500 lpi grating or we can use the 1000 lpi let's use the 1000 lpi laser grating and let's place inside this stand so we have placed laser grating element inside this stand now let's see the calculation so small d small d is nothing but the distance between two slits in the diffraction grating or you can say grating element so we have used the grating element of 1000 lpi 1000 lpi means 1000 lines per inch so 1 inch is equals to 2.54 cm so one slit width will be equals to 2.54 divided by 1000 in cm if you are using lpi of 500 then also you can calculate 2.54 by 500 in the similar manner so we obtain the value of d now what is capital d capital d is the distance between grating and the screen so this is grating element this is screen so from the center of this grating element to the center of this screen we have to measure the distance so this distance we have measured as 40 cm this distance is also in cm and it is 40 cm now what we have to do we have to just turn on the switch of this experiment laser module is turned on and if you observe then the laser diffraction grating is obtained on the screen so you have to just calculate the distance from the central maxima to different type of the maximas so you can see here here there is one central maxima you can see this is one is the central maxima so from central maxima you have to find the distance to the first ordered diffraction so you can say this is a lhs this is rhs to hame karna kya hai center se lhs ka distance dhoondna hai center se rhs ka fir center se waise hi second order maxima jo aapko dikh rahe uska distance waise hi third order waise hi first uh, fourth order and similar ye practical ko repeat karna hai jahan tak aapko maxima minima dikh raha ho wahan tak usko hum likhenge is observation table mein so for the first order lhs mein jo hame distance mila usko yahan pe likh diya sare orders ke liye rhs mein jo distance mila usko यहां पे लिख दिया देन वी हैव फाउंड द मीन वाई मीन कैसे ढूंढेंगे वाई वन प्लस वाई टू वाई टू सो ये हमें सारे मीन की वैल्यू मिल गई नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड द वेवलेंथ ऑफ लेजर लाइट दैट इज आवर एम ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट सो टू फाइंड द वेवलेंथ वी आर कंसीडरिंग दिस व्हाई वी आर कंसीडरिंग दिस बिकॉज़ हियर द दिस इज ग्रेटिंग एलिमेंट दिस इज स्क्रीन दिस इज सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा एंड दिस वन इज द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर मैक्सिमा एंड मिनिमा दिस डिस्टेंस वाज वाई वन वाई टू its mean is treated as a y y if its mean then this length is y this distance is between grating and screen it is capital d so how we can find the hypotenuse under root d square plus y square this angle is theta and this will be different for different type of order so for this theta if we calculate sin theta sin theta is equals to y divided by under root d square plus y square so sin theta is equals to y divided by under root d square plus y square y is nothing but the distance this distance mean distance you observe capital d is nothing but the this distance 40 cm so you can calculate under root d square plus y square for all five readings also you can calculate the sin theta for all five readings then by using this formula n lambda is equals to d sin theta instead of n we are using m so m lambda is equals to d sin theta so if we make lambda subject m will be on the right side so lambda is equals to d sin theta by m what is d d is the distance between two slits which already we have observed 
Then sine theta is this for every case it is different. M is the order for second, third, fourth. So in this way you will get the wavelength in centimeter. So ये जो हमें answer मिला है ten to minus five वो हमें centimeter के terms में मिला है. जितने भी हमें lambda मिले उसका हम average निकाल देंगे. For example हमें पांच lambda मिले तो पांचों का average ये मिल गया. अब centimeter से अगर हमें meter में convert करना है तो into ten to minus two आ जाएगा. So ये answer हमारा बन गया five point six zero four eight into ten to minus seven meter. If you want to convert it into the terms of minus 10, तो यहां से जो decimal point है वो तीन digit आगे आ जाएगा so it will be 5604.8 into 10 is to minus 10 meter and 10 is to minus 10 meter is nothing but the angstrom. So finally we concluded that we can find the wavelength of the laser by using diffraction gritting in this practical.